Better stay hidden. All the years I've lived on Kefalonia, I never realized the mighty Odysseus' palace was here.
Let's get out of here. Can you fight? I'd be happy to. My thanks. I can't believe I let those Malakes sneak up on me. Ithaca is a dangerous place to wander around on your own. You are wandering around on your own. <sighs> You're right. I can't fight a camp of bandits by myself. Could you help me to get to Odysseus's palace? I can pay. I'll help you get to the palace. Well, I'm in luck then. What do I call you? Alexios? I'm Odessa. Named after the great Odysseus. Why would you want to go up there? I am a descendant of Odysseus. I'm on a pilgrimage. You're a descendant of the former king of Ithaca. And the man who created the Trojan horse and defeated the Cyclops? The one who traveled to the land of the Lotus Eaters? The one the Odyssey is about? Yes, I am. Why? You're not the first who said that, is all. Well, I trust I don't need to prove my lineage to get up to the palace. We should head to the palace while we have the chance. Let's hope no one notices me here. Rubble. What were you expecting? I don't know. Something more grand. My parents named me Odessa. I'm Odysseus's namesake. I thought if I came here, I might understand him more. Well, do you? Not at all. Take me to my boat. I'll pay you there. <sighs> 
This is for you. Such a disappointment. Why is that place so important to you? Are you joking? Odysseus lived there. Ruled there. He ended the Trojan War. Eluded Scylla and Charybdis. He had everything. Loyalty, love, fighting spirit. He had the attention of the gods, too. That caused him a lot of trouble. And it made him a legend. If you keep trying, you'll get there. Giving up guarantees you never will. You're the first one to encourage me like that. Just know, it's your decision to make. Greatness is what I seek. It's what I've desired my entire life. I refuse to end up like everyone around me, content to go about their daily lives until they're forgotten in death. If you want Odysseus' greatness, you have to do it your own way. He was famous because of his cunning. What have you done? I've traveled all the way here. To see the ruins of Odysseus' life, not to live your own. I should know better than to take advice from a mercenary. Leave me.
Stay away from me. Get your pots here! Good for the whole family! I should have known it was you who'd ask for the fur, Zilos. And I should have known it was you to get them for me. Alexios is always on the job. Don't tell Marcos. He'll get jealous. I post it publicly to give the others a chance, but you're always so keen. What are the pelts for this time? The Athenians want armor for the war. Good protection for them, good drachmi for me. Here they are, all accounted for. In record time, too. Take your pay, it's well earned. Stay out of trouble, Ilos. You should take your own advice. Got a job to do, Alexios?
Get it? Done. Goodbye then. Such lethal power. Come on. Come on. There they are. I'll sneak up on you. Let me go! Shut it! Or I'll tighten those ropes! She'll make good ransom Drachmi for the Cyclops. No one's gonna buy me from you. They're all poor. Keep quiet, Phoebe. Tall grass will keep me hidden. Can't let the rest of those malakas get away. Eh? Who's whistling? Marcos is going to be next. Uh. 
Time to get Phoebe out of here. Alexios, I'm here! Untie me! Are you all right? It wasn't so bad. Last time they put a cloth in my mouth so I'd stop biting. Phoebe, just be careful. You're alone now since... Since my parents died? I'm okay. I've got you and you've got me and Marcos. We're your family, right? You'll have to be stronger than that! Don't give in! Let him have it! <laughs> Got you! <laughs> Again! Up! Yes, Father. A Spartan rises as soon as they have fallen. Ready your stuff. Widen your stance. A soldier grounds themselves. Hmm? Good. Good. Uh. Approach me. Ah! That's enough, Nikolaus. The sun's going down. Time to eat, don't you think? <laughs> Tonight, we are having baby Cassandra! <laughs> and what a feast she will be! No, not her! Take me instead, I'm tasty! Yes, yes, you're all sweet as honey. Now, come inside. The lamb's turning black. Here. Yeah. Lay her in bed. Yes, Pater. Alexios. You. Are my greatest pride. Remember that. You will bring this family to glory. Go. Right. You worry too much. <laughs> you don't worry enough. We'll be all right if we watch out for each other. Which reminds me, the thug said you should watch your back. What'd they say? They said the Cyclops put a big bounty on you. Talos the Stonefist wants you dead. Talos, the mercenary. Oh, am I ever not in trouble? Better get him before he gets you. I hear he's really mean. I'll find my way back to town. Here! Talos the Stone Feast? That's just what I need today. Another broken nose. I'm going to have to take care of that. Ella. Ella. Yeah. <laughs>
Come on. Watch will be vigilant here. This used to be a nice village, but now it's just a nest of anarchy and crime. We're not all so bad. Not that 
Ornios, reunited again! This Mistios was one good egg in a basket of dads. Pay him for me, will you, Davos? Anything for a little brother. I told you we're not all bad. Kefalonia. Uh, it's truly no Athens.
Come on. Deadly threat. Come on, come on. Come on. Hold up.
Let's go. Ella. shouldn't go out any farther in this boat. Good to see. Hello, Thuris. Business looks good. Tell Marcos to come down here himself, if he wants his money. Huh? Uh, but I'm here now. Look, I was a little late paying. Now Marcos says I owe him double because of interest. I don't have it to spare. Double? That's robbery. That's what I told Marcos. You know him. He's extreme. If you pay him, this will all be over with. You told Marcos I've paid enough already. I won't bow to... to... to a mercenary or to someone foolish enough to borrow money from the Cyclops. From the Cyclops? 
That's how he bought his vineyard? Look, I know you'd be dead without Marcos. What with him taking you off the street as a kid. But you know what he's doing is crazy. Right about that. Forget the drachmi. Marcos and I need to have a talk. You're letting me go? Then at least take this sword. Nothing special, but it's better than that rusty one you got. With the Cyclops involved, I'll need it. You better set Marcos straight or you're both dead. <laughs> How may I help you? May the blessings of Hermes go with you.
Down this bounty, Talos. You 
running out of time until the Cyclops comes for you, Malaka. He wants his money. Could I have an extension? When he sails back to Kefalonia, he'll come and break you as soon as he docks, if you don't get it. Now, let's be civil. You can't hide behind your glories, Mistios forever, Marcos. He'll kill you, the mercenary, and that little runt girl that hangs around. Of course, not a problem. I'll get the drachmi. Good, or I'll come and watch the Cyclops feed you to his goats. Ah, Alexios, I can tell from the smile on your face, Duris has paid you your drachmi. Who's smiling? I just heard where you got the drachmi for the vineyard. Are you out of your fucking mind? We can get the money back, can't we? I'm sure it's possible. It'll take a lot of work. And even then, I'm not sure. We have no option but to try. Then you'd better be willing to help. I won't do all the dirty work. <sighs> I long for the old days. Remember them? They were simple. You had nothing, young and alone, and I had everything. And I gave you the world, Kefalonia, in the palm of your hand. Don't see fishes like you every day, huh? <laughs> oh! Ha! You hungry? How about we make a deal? I do something for you. You do a few things for me. Everybody wins. Best offer you're gonna get. Huh? Think about it. Wait! <laughs> Kefalonia. <laughs> Some gift. You were nothing without Marcos. And look how far we've come. From an orphan on the streets to a Mistheos with a Havel. And now the Cyclops will take everything away. I can't protect you from him forever. He'll kill me too. Oh, don't be scared of him. And look at you. How could I go up against him? With what weapons? A rusty spear? A broken bow? There you are. Skulking around the temple won't save you from me, Marcos. Drusilla! I was just talking about you. You were? I need that wood, Marcos. These new bows will be the talk of the island. I can't make anything with those bandit malakes stopping the wood shipments. Of course you can. Why, I was just filling my friend Alexios in on the details. He already has a plan to deal with these bandits. You know me, always prepared. What did I tell you? He will leave no stone unturned. I don't care who does it, but someone better got those bandits. Today! A wonderful idea. I, for one, uh, need to rush home. Alexios, I've cooked up a plan for our Cyclops dilemma. See me when you have time. If you want your wood, you'll have to fix my broken bow first. Hmm. 
I usually only pay when the deed is done, but shit's moving at a snail's pace. Follow me. These balls will make me rich as Chrysos. They're that good, are they? War's brewing. The Athenians need good bows if they want to hold off the Spartans. Everybody benefits, I guess. Who are you? Marcos? You should be tired of this small-time shit. You'd make a fortune in this war. Plus, I hear you're a secret Spartan. That was a long time ago. I'm a Kefalonian. Hand it over. There you go, good as new. That bow is as strong as Heracles himself. Give it a try. Shoot your arrow at those dummies! Fair is fair. Are you going to get my wood? Those fucking bandits need a thrashing. Fair is fair. I'll fix your wood problem. Finally! Marcos sure is lucky he's got you as a scapegoat. Any idea where these bandits are? I'm not a tracker, I'm a boyer. They're in the mountains somewhere, that much I know. I'd check close to the lumber camps. There's plenty of trees around. Why do you need this type of wood? I've been working on a new type of bow. It's more flexible, so it lasts longer and can fire at greater range. Only a very special kind of wood that grows high in the mountains will do. I'll take care of the bandits. Make sure that you do, and be quick about it. I'll deal with these bandits and get you the wood you need as fast as I can. Have patience. It won't take long. <laughs> if you knew how long Marcos has been feeding me excuses, you wouldn't be saying that. All right, I did something for you. Now you do something for me. Get my wood. Here's where the ambush happened. I should look around. That's a lot of footprints. A group left this area, headed west. The cart was emptied, then left behind. The thief can't have gotten far with that much cargo. Shot in the back while fleeing. Must be the work of bandits. What a fierce team we are!
That must be the bandit camp I'm looking for. I need to sneak up on them. Someone there? Well, less trouble for me, I guess. Someone trying to mess with me.
making that noise. I'm sure it came from over here. Mistios, fresh vegetables for your journey. The juiciest in Kefalonia. I'm not really in the market for vegetables. No one is. Our stock is practically decomposing. We're trying to make enough rachmi to get out of Kefalonia. It's about time we moved on. I know what you mean. Wait. Creosa. You think he could help us? I think he could. You'll have to tell me what it is first. Are you scared of sharks, Mistios? Have you seen their teeth? <sighs> Believe us, we have. And we won't go near them again. A shark is guarding our one guaranteed way out of Kefalonia. A shark? He guards a precious necklace. We get it, sell it, and leave Kefalonia. The old bandit who found it first buried the necklace on the shore, near a temple. And the fool didn't think. Water rises. Now the necklace may as well belong to the Sark. Vegetable drachme is all right, but necklace drachme is best. I know what it's like to want to leave Kefalonia. Who wouldn't? We have nothing here. As many vegetables as we please, but no hope. It's buried in a chest. If you get it for us, we'll take what we need to get out, and you can keep the rest. All right, I'll kill your shark. You'll skewer him. You'll find him deep in the ruins of Granit down south. Buried treasure usually has a story. 
the necklace was said to belong to Procris. You know, the wife of Kefalus. On the eve of their wedding, he gave it to her as a promise of fidelity. Well, we know how that turned out. <laughs> Typical. At least he returned to Procris in time for her death. Where on the island are these ruins? You know the sunken islet of Zeus? Find that, and you'll find the ruins. To the shark's temple I go. I'll never look at another vessel again after this. This is down there. Oh, 
I'm on. Off we go. Ella. are, and not a moment too soon. The Cyclops is more important than a boyer. We need to talk. Precisely what I was thinking. Let's hope Drusilla has a good sense of humor. Well, your plan? Right. 
The Cyclops and I have a score of drag me to settle. The same score as you, my rough and tumble friend. He wouldn't be after me if it wasn't for you, my friend. <laughs> All right. But I swear, this will put an end to it. If he insists on sending his goons after us, we'll make sure his last good day was yesterday. Let's hear it then. What do I have to do? What will we do, you mean? As the brains to your brawn, I consider it a joint effort. <sighs> of course you do. Think, what does the Cyclops value most? His men? His land? His ships? No, his obsidian eye. Get to the point, Marcos. Oh, fine. We're going to steal it. Are you crazy? You borrow his rachmi, then you steal his eye? Having it means we win. Then it goes to market. We kill two birds with one obsidian eye. <laughs> He'd better hold still, or he'll lose both eyes. No, no! It has to be done without the Cyclops knowing. You cannot be seen. Then my new bow will come in handy. He keeps the eye in his house. It's too valuable to wear out. A wise choice until you show him the error of his ways. Wait for the sun to set, sneak in, and then bring me the eye. Better be worth something. Do you know how much obsidian goes for in Kefalonia? I've never seen it. Exactly. And not only is it obsidian, it's veined with gold. Gold! It's no wonder he saves it for special occasions. So we'll use the profits to pay him off. It will pay for the bulk of it. A vineyard's expensive, you know. I don't know where the Cyclops lives. Keep to the west side of the island. There you will find his lair. Fine. But you won't get away with being cheap. Cheap? You wound me, Alexios. It's your defining trait. Bring me the eye and I'll prove you wrong. Remember, not a soul can see you. Got it. Pull this off and our heads won't be the Cyclops' trophies when he comes back. Now to find the eye. If it's as valuable as Marcos says, it will be hidden. How'd they go with Marcos? How it always goes. I didn't get my money, and I'm running another errand for him. Why do you let them boss you around? I owe him a debt from the past. Oh, did you borrow Vrachmi? Not that kind of debt. Few people would take in a runaway they caught thieving. I was just a kid. Huh. I'm just a kid, and I've done pretty good for myself. What do you want, Phoebe? You know Kausos? The town on the other side of the island. Why? People there are sick. And my friend Kina is too. There is a blood fever. They say it's a curse and they need help from the gods. I told you, I'm not a god. But Icaros... ...is a bird. That doesn't mean you can't help. Ah, oh, all right. I'll look into it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, look, it's Marcus's mighty champion. <laughs> Don't tell me you actually did what I asked. I tracked the bandits and sent them to Addis. Your wood should arrive in town soon. And you expect me to believe the word of a mercenary? I didn't expect you to believe me, so I brought this. Here's your proof. A sample of the special wood you want so badly. These bows you're making had better be worthy of Apollo for all the trouble I've gone to. By the gods! You sure you work with Marcos? He's never once delivered on a promise. Incredible. I might work with him, but we're nothing alike. I'm true to my word. Then take your pay. Give none to Marcos. Sami, I wonder if we'll be able to leave without getting into a brawl. <laughs> Who am I kidding? This place never changes. Hello. Come on. Let's go. You found it. That's the necklace. That shark put up a good fight. He must have liked it. We can finally leave. No more vegetables. <sighs> we'll have a new life. One far from our past. I know what that's like. Good luck. Hello, I. I see you. Come on, come on. Must be some eye to have that much protection. I have to stay out of view. Oh! 
someone whistling. I'll make you do it! 
Zeus, the Cyclops doesn't mess around.
Lee, be careful! Do you know how many of his guards were there? All for a fucking rock. This rock could buy a house, my friend. And yet, it's still not enough to pay back the Cyclops. Oh, don't be upset. Think of all the fun we've had. Right. Your fun, my blood. You can't keep dragging me into things, Marcos. This will work, I promise you. Would I lie to you? Don't make me answer that. Take the eye, but don't sell it yet. No vendor would believe we came by it lawfully. They know exactly who it belongs to. Fine. Better your pocket than his socket. I think that's enough for one day. Here, Marcos. Uh, wait, I saw a boat. One I've never seen before. So? The vessel's too good for this dirty town. It must be the Cyclops, and he brought friends. He's back. Ugh. I can never catch a break, can I? Take them out, and that's one less thing to deal with. Besides, these strangers look rich as Chrysos. The Cyclops pays them well. It's win-win, my friend. It can't hurt. What do I have to lose? You? You're a winner if I ever saw one. Then where are they? In an abandoned house on the eastern coast. Who knows what golden fortunes shine in their hideout? Send them to Hades, then loot them for all they have. We'll be rich! The eastern coast. Can you be more specific? I think they've settled in an abandoned house. By a small forest south of Sami. So, if these visitors aren't from Kefalonia, where did they come from? All I know is Kefalonia will be the last place they'll ever see. I'm keeping some of these golden fortunes, though. No negotiations. Not even a drachme for the man who sent you? The rest goes to pay your debt. These are my terms. Oh, fine, fine. Now teach those strangers what it means to be Kefalonian. Draw blood or bleed.
Off we go now. The abandoned house and the people. Come on. Yeah. Keep a sharp watch here. This will get you out. I want fucking fire. Somebody get water. <laughs> Normally have someone else do the field work. I don't suppose you know how to get this stain out. It comes with the territory. Then you're just the mysterious I'm looking for. A clean slaughter. Very good work. Not much sympathy for the men who work with you. Not with me. For me. Employees. Now ex-employees, I suppose. So you don't work for the Cyclops? Your kind aren't usually believers of myth. Not the monster. The man! You are an outsider. Why are you here? Indeed, I'm not from Kefalonia. I'm here because what I'm looking for is. If you'll follow me, Alexios. Who 
are you? How do you know my name? I'm Elpinor of Kira. How do I know your name? I did what you did. I asked and people told me. Tell me who sent you. An inquisitive nature. Good. That will help. You know more than you let on. Knowing you is in my best interest. And knowing me is in yours. My prized possession was stolen and brought to Ithaca. Penelope's woven shroud. I need you to steal it back. The shroud of Penelope? The wife of Odysseus. You're joking. A piece of it, yes. Impossible. If it existed, it would be priceless. Which is why I want it back. Ithaca's not a small island. I need more information. I'd start at the home of Odysseus. Well, what's left of it? An inspiring tale. A reunion of past lovers. All right. I'll do it. Don't expect it to be easy. That's why it will cost you. Then it's agreed. There's a rowboat in the harbor. Use it. It's not meant for open water, so be wise. When you have the shroud, meet me in the Temple of Zeus. I will. Oh, and Mystius, don't fail. Headed to the house of Odysseus on a tiny boat. Let's try not to piss Poseidon off, shall we? The legendary shroud. Elpinor wasn't lying. from over here. Nothing?
Alexius, good news, I hope. Safe and sound. Well done. And now the shroud is yours. You don't want it? After all that? I gained something more valuable today. For your troubles, Mistheus. If I knew any better, I'd think you were testing me. Perhaps. You did well, Mistyus. Tell me, how do you feel about killing a general in Megaris? Do this for me and earn double what you earned today. Are you up to the task? It would take you far away from Kefalonia. So far away you might never return. Generals bleed like anyone else. Good. What do you say? Who is this general? They call him the Wolf. He do something to offend you? Yes. He's costing me Drachmi. He's not good for business. Anything I should know about Megaris? Only that it's the most valuable land in the Greek world. From a military perspective, of course. Unfortunately for Megarians, it has two very powerful neighbors who just can't seem to play nice. In the tug of war between Corinth and Athens, Megaris is their own. Why me? Because no one knows who you are. You're invisible. I accept. Splendid. You'll need a boat. You have one, don't you? If I had a boat, we wouldn't be having this conversation. A shame. It's too far of a swim, I'm afraid. Even for you. I'll find one. Good. I hope it's sturdy. And why is that? The seas are much more dangerous, I'm afraid. War is coming, and the wolf is on the wrong side. War? With who? The entire Greek world is at each other's throats. What rock have you been hiding under exactly? Kefalonia. 
And how do I know you're on the right side? Because I'm the one paying you. You won't be disappointed. When your job in Megaris is done, come find me at Pilgrim's Landing in Fokis. Hmm. I need a boat. I should go see the shipbuilder. It's a fine ship, Telemenes. Alexios! She is that. Ready to ride the waves for the right captain? And the right price. What will it take for you to part with her? <laughs> Couldn't let her go for less than 100,000. 100,000? Who has that much? Someone who's serious about buying a ship. You think craftsmanship like this is given away? What if I told you I had obsidian to trade? I tell you I still need 100,000 drachmi. Besides, even if I took your obsidian, a ship this size needs an army to sail it. This is Kefalonia. I could always find someone down on their luck and willing to work for next to nothing to get off this island. The seas are treacherous now. Well, more than usual. It would be suicide. You're not being very helpful, Telemenes. Not sure if this helps, but rumor has it the Cyclops is coming for you and Marcos. Malaka. How is that helpful? That monster's held Kefalonia captive for too long. I figure if anyone could finally rid us of his stents, it would be you. Telemenes, what does this have to do with my need for a boat? Rumor also has it the Cyclops has docked his ship in Kleptus Bay. His ship, you say? I'll have to pay Kleptus Bay a visit. Be careful. That one-eyed brute has a nasty temper. Take his ship and deal with the Cyclops at the same time. Two birds, one stone. The Cyclops. Time to have a little chat. They'll be watching for me. I need to be careful. Oh, the gods as my witness, I swear! Which one? What difference does it make? <laughs> All of them, I swear! All 
all of them! I have never heard so much fucking god talk from one man in all my days! <gasps> Let him go. No one on this island is allowed to say that word! Did he say Cyclops? Did it hurt your feelings? I don't like it when people call me that! Um, oh, I didn't. I... <gasps> but you're so fat. I mean, big, strong. You really do only have one eye. Oh, my eye. Give it to me. Give it to me, and I won't kill Marcos for having you steal it! Give it to me! You want it? <laughs> Go get it.
lay here any further. Even rats like these have friends on Kefalonia. By Zeus, these Kefalonian bandits are no joke. Good thing you're on my side. They really seem to fear you. And thank you enough. After spending most of my life at sea, it would have been absolutely shameful to drown in a pot. Ah, where are my manners? I am Varnavas, captain of the Adrestia. Well, Varnavas, I'm pleased to meet you. I'm Alexios, Mystios by trade. <laughs> oh, but you're much more than that, I'm sure. What do you mean? When they forced my head underwater, I prayed to the gods. And when they pulled it out, there you were. All of Kefalonia heard your prayers. I just happened to be closest. <laughs> and you just happened to fight like Achilles while Zeus's eagle flies around your head. Where do you come from? Everywhere, nowhere. The Adrestia is my home, but I was born in an olive grove in Mykonos. I haven't stepped foot there since I left for the military. So you're a soldier? I was. My brothers and I were captains in the Athenian fleet. Until one night during a siege, Poseidon's fury destroyed our ships. That was the night I saw it. It? What did you see? The sea god commands more than just the winds and the waves when he truly unleashes his temper. I saw his beast, his murderous pet. Few believe me, but this dead eye is a permanent reminder. Punishment for looking on Poseidon's forbidden creature and living to tell the tale. So why were those men attacking you? Oh, you know the people here. No offense. I tell them a tale of my last voyage, and the next thing I know, they're acting like a bunch of savages. What tale could you tell that would make them so angry? My last voyage, we found a man floating alone on a raft. Before he passed, he told us a tale to make your blood run cold. Something about a horrifying creature, ugly beyond description. I mentioned the words, one-eyed monster. Next thing I know, I'm drowning in a clay pot. Yes, the Cyclops tends to take that personally. So you have a ship? Of course. Gods forbid I'd end up stuck in this place. Where is it now? Thanks to you, it's still in Sami Harbor, where I left it. Perhaps the fates brought us together after all. I'm in need of a ship and a crew. <laughs> you saved my life! It would disgust the gods to not offer it in return! So that's a yes? 
My ship, my crew, and my services are yours. You truly aren't from around here. Ha <laughs> ha! Gods, no! And I thank them for that! Come now and see the Adrestia! We are ready when you are, Captain. Wait! Wait for me, Alexios. I'm all packed and everything. You're coming, are you? If you're going, I'm going. Kefalonia is the only place you've ever known. You'd leave your home. I would if it meant staying with you. You can't go where I'm going. I need to be alone. Who's going to keep you company? I'll be fine. If I can't come, then take Hara. Hara? My pet eagle. She's my friend. Mater gave her to me. But she'll be your friend now. And it'll be like I'm there with you, you know, to remind you of me. Thanks, Phoebe. But you have to promise we'll see each other again. It's up to the fates, but I'd like to. The fates know we're best friends, Alexios. They'll make sure we meet again. If you say so. I say so. Alexios! Leaving Kefalonia without saying goodbye to your dear Marcos? Tell me it isn't true. Well, you're here now, so it won't be true. Goodbye, Marcos. All these years as a dynamic duo! I'll never replace you! Well, I may need another assistant someday, but it won't be easy. Come now, give me a hug. <sighs> All right. Come here. Yes, bring it in. Oh, will I ever miss you, Alexios? Thanks, Marcos. I'll miss you too. And what does the future hold for you? Wine, of course. Though you never know when the vines will wither. I'm always ready for another adventure. Speaking of adventure, I have a task for you, dear Phoebe. An adventure? Yes! Already following in your footsteps, isn't she, my friend? Ready to set sail? Prepare to cast off. It's time to leave. Good! The tides wait for neither man nor woman. Time to go. So, what course do we set? Where in this big, beautiful world does the mighty Alexios want to go? Megaris. <laughs> Megaris? But we'll be sailing into war. I got a contract for some general's head. 
Whose head? They call him the Wolf. The Wolf? Who wants Nikolaos of Sparta dead? Nikolaos of Sparta? <laughs> the Oracle has spoken! <laughs> to prevent Sparta's fall, the child must fall first. You can't let this happen! Please! She'll do no harm! She'll help us! She will lead us! Silence! <laughs> Get me to Megaris. Now. But I don't understand. Of all the places under Ilios, why risk our necks to go there? The wolf of Sparta is my father. Nothing like a sea breeze. Does the deck always feel like it's moving? <laughs> I've got the perfect opportunity for you to get your sea legs. Oh? What would that be? Well, when the Cyclops was giving me a drumming, his pirates took my cargo. I know their ship, and I know where they're heading. What say we get it back? Sure. It'll be a good opportunity to see how your ship and crew perform. All right, there. Let's get moving. Let's see how the sails have held up. 